Every one of us probably could look back and reflect on someone who had a significant impact in our lives as we were growing up or at some point and uh, without that person, you know, maybe our lives would have been different or something would have gone in a different direction. We've been providing mentoring responsible adults match with young kids um, for, oh, probably about 13 years. And the tennis component came about four years ago. That was good. One more time, Charlie. Uh, and there was a gentleman yeah, named time, George like uh, who played no, no, uh, tennis for St. John's. A very good tennis player and actually was a, a tennis champion in his own right. Told him of my interest, told him about my interest in, in coaching the, uh, uh, some, some kids, uh, doing some, you know, uh, some volunteer work and uh, they actually told me that Judge Valdez had some had some kids that were uh, that, that he was actually interested in putting a program together like that too as well so it all came together and so I kind of lucked out that this guy just sort of came from nowhere and he's been doing that for four years now he meets with the kids every uh, Monday okay, uh, for an hour at Liberty Park and Nine. in the winter time in the bubble and spends time with these kids. And the first thing I want to, we want to um, go over, you know what we're going to do? Here you go. Every uh, lesson we're going to go over. At risk is a word that's used a lot, but uh, I think most of the kids in my court, and I can relate to them, are at crisis. And my first week on the bench, I thought, geez, what most of these kids need is a responsible adult in their life. They didn't have responsible adults in their life, whether their mother or father were working, or the father was usually absent, and the mother working hard, or the mother was struggling with their own addictions or problems, I thought all I need is one person to spend one hour a week with this child to yeah, sort of show him or her a different life, a different world. They get different things out of tennis than, than the kids at the, uh, the country clubs, you know, uh, uh, whereas these kids have uh, mentors and people looking out for them. They've got consistency where they know every Monday they're going to have a few pros here uh, waiting for them, uh, drilling them, and, uh, and, and uh, it, it's been that consistency that I think these kids have been lacking in their lives. And when you tie that in with the sport, it just, uh, it, it, you know, it makes it all that much uh, better for them. And of course, you know, we don't expect to develop tennis champions. But what we do expect to do is give the kids a different uh, world to live in for that one hour, make them go to a park, uh, teach some character, uh, some socialization school, uh, skills, those kinds of things. So, and, and it is really one of the sports out there that you can play until, until you're 100 years old. You know, and you don't need to put a team of 20 people together and you could just uh, pick, you know, find a pickup game in any public court like Liberty Park here. I guess to simplify it as much as I can, it worked for me when I was young. I had someone take an interest in me when I was a little boy and took me off the streets and uh, mentored me and uh, taught me how to play tennis and uh, opened up my world. Uh, before I met this man uh, and before he took an interest in me, I hadn't been out of a nine block radius of where I grew up. Uh, and through his act of kindness, basically uh, changed my world. But he, he wanted me to play tennis, and the reason he wanted me to play tennis is because he knew that uh, tennis would uh, make me focus on different uh, uh, opportunities. Uh, I had an opportunity to uh, experience educated people, uh, people who solve problems nonviolently, people who drove nice cars, who had nice clothes, who seemed to be living a lot easier than we were. And he, uh, and he emphasized to me that you can have this stuff that these folks have, uh, but you need to go to school. Uh, you can't fight anymore. You can't solve problems through violence. And uh, the whole world is a world of possibilities for you if you, you know, obey rules, uh, you're, you're honest, you have good character, and you go to school and you become an educated person. It keeps me busy. Yeah. And out of trouble. They actually like me being in these programs because yeah. like, I haven't been in trouble for a long time. Keeps me busy. That's all right. When somebody said, hey, how'd you like to come out and play tennis? Like, oh, that's going to be too boring. But are you still finding it boring? No, not really. Nice serves. Mm -hmm. Stayed out of trouble? Yeah. Why do you think it is? I don't know. I just don't want to fall back in my own footsteps, in my old footsteps. Yeah. Uh, some of our kids belong to different gangs. Uh, some kids belong to different races, but on the tennis court it seems like they all get along 
and they all know what the purpose is to be there, and that's basically so they can enjoy that one hour, enjoy being at a park, learn some skills, and hopefully learn how to socially act around each other in a non-destructive or non-negative way. Let's do that forehand again. Ready? Do a forehand. Step in. I had a mom uh, come to me about uh, a year ago and said, hey, you really um, saved my child's life. I was, you know, I said, oh, yeah, I saved his life. No, she meant no. You know, she looked me straight in the eyes. I said, literally, you saved his life. And, um, you know, it's those kind of things that, that you just can't buy. And, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a satisfaction. I don't know if we'll ever develop, you know, any great tennis players out of this, but I think what we are doing is developing young kids and, and, and hopefully helping them to appreciate, you know, a world of possibilities as opposed to the limited world some of these kids come from.